at our church, City on the Hill, we have recently been looking at what our purpose is as a church, answering the question, why do we exist? And we have been talking about this phrase, we are here to love God, love people and make disciples. Nothing more and nothing less than that. And we believe that these are really key to who we are as a church. But where do we get these from? Well, we get them from what Jesus talks about in the Gospels. Let me read to you some verses from Mark chapter 12 and Matthew chapter 28. This is Mark chapter 12. And there are teachers of the law, people coming to Jesus and asking Jesus, what is the most important command of them all? And this is what Jesus answers them. He says, the most important is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, that Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Wow. So actually to love God with everything that we are, heart, body, soul, mind, all of that, we're called to love God. And then we're called to love our neighbour, love those around us, love people. And one of the other significant things that Jesus talks about in the Gospels is known often as the Great Commission. This is Matthew chapter 28. Uh, when, when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the very end of the age. Jesus is, this is Jesus' last words to his disciples, to go and make disciples of all people, teach them about him, baptize them, and he was saying that he would be with them always. So as a church, we're not coming up with anything brand new. We see this is some key statements that Jesus has made for those who follow him. To love God, to love people, and to make disciples. I love the simplicity of these, but also they're not always easy. They can be a challenge. But I also love the order of them as well, to love God, love people and make disciples. Because actually we see in the Bible that actually God first loved us before we could love him back. He demonstrated his love through us, through Jesus to us. And we see that on the cross and the resurrection of Jesus. That actually God first loved us. And we can respond to God with worship and love but only because he first loved us. And as we love God and experience him, that actually enables us, empowers us to love people because it is not always easy to love people, right? And so sometimes there can be challenges with that, but we're called to do that. And not always that we will get love back, but we're called to go and love without condition, to love everybody that we come across with. Jesus elsewhere has talked about uh, about this this concept of loving your neighbour and and someone asked him who is my neighbour and Jesus tells the famous story of the Good Samaritan helping a Jewish man and in those times they were enemies they were opposites they were on the opposite side from each other and yet even though they were enemies culturally as people the the Good Samaritan we call him the Good Samaritan because we know that he stopped and helped that man. And so we are called to love people. Sometimes there are people that we may not agree with everything about. We may not understand everything about them, but we are still called to love them. And from that place of love, love is kind, love is patience. Also love speaks the truth. And we also know that to love people well means telling them about Jesus, telling them about a God who loves them a God who is for them, wanting to bring them back into relationship with him and to teach them about him. And that is making disciples 
the motive for making disciples must always be love. And so those three things, love God, love people and make disciples, these are three things that are interconnected with one another. And I'm excited that as we love God and we love people, we will see people become disciples of Jesus. That's what we've been talking about recently as a church, that we are here to love God, love people and make disciples.